Miami is famous for its sunshine, beaches, and nightlife. It's a transient party town with no cultural roots. We want something different. We want to showcase things that are different, and we want respect while doing that. That's Max Pierre. Max is the owner and creative director behind AE, the design district's central venue for art, fashion, live music, and events. Its goal is to bring something different to Miami, a space for Miami's emerging artists to learn, grow, and showcase their work. Everybody thought I was kind of crazy for like taking this space, but I, I saw the potential. I was looking for a gallery space, but I wanted an tr untraditional gallery space. It was a great skeleton. There's an intangible that, that's, that's part of AE. You walk in here, I think you feel something different. We've worked with a lot of different kinds of artists, musicians, painters, fashion designers, and, and across the board, I think everybody kind of responds to the fact that it's a very open environment that's looking to partner with people that are doing something different and, and developing culture. Vanessa Garcia knows this firsthand. As a writer, theater director, and visual artist, Vanessa has collaborated with AE on several projects. It just seemed like the perfect place where you could do really new things, things that were more cutting edge, things that were more um, sort of original and that people hadn't seen before. Since April 2009, AE has showcased various artists from all over the world and from right here at home. What Miami's typically known for, I came from, but I realized there's a whole different aspect of Miami that's not being really pushed forward. And that's what I wanted to do with this project. After opening AE, Max invited Rodrigo Gonzalez, an old friend, to help out. At the time, I thought he was the suit and tie guy <laughs> because we needed a suit and tie guy as part of the family. But then I found out he was as creative as <laughs> the entire team. Rodrigo immediately took to AE's mission. Together, Max and Rodrigo began filling the space with programs and events with a series called Black Umbrella. So Black Umbrella is, is the name we've given to the, the internal programming that we do here at AE and it's, you know, as of right now we have 10 programs that we'll be rolling out um, over the next year and it's everything from a, from a book club to a lecture series to a discussion group to try to stimulate conversation and ideas. Rodrigo used his connections to bring Vanessa Garcia, founder of The Crane, to AE. She's just somebody I respect a lot. She's doing a lot in the community. Vanessa and I have known each other for almost 15 years now and you know, me being a part of the space now, it just made absolute natural sense to have her be a part of it. Like AE, Vanessa wanted to bring something different to Miami. After living in New York for seven years, she returned home to discover the city was now full of new opportunities. And that's when I sort of started The Crane, which I wanted to be a sort of um, multi-genre company that did arts and theater and uh, you know, sort of like anything that, that we could combine with theater. Vanessa found AE to be a great venue for her work. The space is great and it's really good for theater and it's the kind of theater that we like to do that it's not necessarily a stage. It's sort of like old school, like take out the stuff out of the caravan and start acting, you know? Um, sometimes that's all you need, just a, an actor, a black box and an audience. Together with AE, The Crane presented an alternative theater piece called Shake It Up. Vanessa directed the show in which a group of writers compose monologues inspired by Shakespeare. I have this bag over my head because I have this problem where I, I turn red in the face. Here's the thing, this anxiety thing, it's worrying me. <laughs> All of these events under Black Umbrella fit into Max's bigger plan, both for AE and the city of Miami. Miami's kind of my canvas. And, and it's the canvas that you can kind of do so much with. It's not imitating any other part of the country or, or, or the world. It's really Miami's you know, cultural scene. I love Miami. I think Miami is like an amazing city. And the type of person that I am, I'm inspired by creating. And I think like Miami is a space where you can actually be part of the evolution. So here we are. Here you are. And if this thing sucks, <laughs> In this diverse and growing city, there is a new sense of possibility. And AE is at the forefront of this burgeoning cultural evolution. AE is the love of art. I truly believe the foundation of 
Art is self-expression and, and, and self-expression provokes thought. That's the fundamentals of art, period. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I feel. <laughs> and I wanted to create a space where we can provoke thought. You don't have to agree with it, but if, you know, if, you, if it provokes thought, we're, we're doing something. And if I can inspire you to express yourself, in, whether on the canvas or in your writing or in poetry or, or just to have an opinion, our job is done. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.